Welcome back guys to another episode of our Kuham Tutorials with Everything Design. In today's video, we learn how to create light strips and wall panels. Basically you will need to use both the construction tool and the wall editor tool. I assume you already know how to use Kuham Design software? If not, leave a comment below if you want me to make beginner videos. So here we are in the wall editor tool, the first thing we need to do is draw guidelines so we get straight lines and mark where we want our lights. Choose the right dimensions according to your design. I'm spacing the guidelines by typing any value. And again just tap the previous guideline to create a similar one. Do the same thing horizontally. I will just make few lines for the sake of the video. Now it's all done. We know where our lights will go, time for the path line, this is the tool that creates the path for lights. Just drag the line following the previous guidelines. And repeat. Right click to draw, left click to release. Once you are done, right click on any path line to adjust the light. Choose the color and the brightness. And this is to change the width and depth of the line, so if you want it to be more visible you set it higher and vice versa. Once that's set, just click on the path line and duplicate to copy the same light settings to the rest of the lines. Now we are done with the wall editor tool, we save and move to the construction tool. As you can see the light are visible so it's easy for us to know where to draw the panels. We drag a rectangle to its position
and simply duplicate it. Do the same for all the sections. Now to make the panels 3D, we click on the push and pull icon and we push the rectangle away from the wall. Make sure to draw lights between panels and don't leave any lights on edges like I did, so that the light strips distribute nicely. I am just doing this to show you guys, I believe you get the gist. I will just try to drag them closer to each other because I don't want the lights to be too visible. Once you are done with that, choose a desired finish to paint the panels. Once you are all set, save your design and render it. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Is that a horse? What on god is a horse doing outside my design? I think it escaped. What should we do? Yeah, I think it escaped the library. Anyways guys. Sorry for that, the horse is back to its place now. There you have it. You have just created wall strips and panels. I hope the video was clear and simple for you. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that I can keep doing more tutorials for you guys. In the next video, I will show you how to create ceiling lights so stay tuned.